back again today with another endless reaction for you guys. They are back. First of all, apologies, my cat is really, really annoying me. He wants more food. He's already eaten. I'll kick him out in a minute. Um, I'm back with another Edmix reaction for you guys. And they're back with another pre-release, I believe. And it's called Run For Roses. Guys, my vision is so bad. And the video title there is really small. If that's wrong, you'll have a laugh. Um, but they released a performance video. I was going to wait until the full comeback, but then I thought, nah, I'm going to react to it. It dropped yesterday, but I'm reacting to it today because it dropped yesterday quite late. Anyway, I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. End mix, Run For Roses. It is Run For Roses, thank God for that. Performance video, let's go. We're alive cause we are not alone Oh, that's a low register Hand to hand, you know we won't let go of Oh, for such crazy vocals oh, yeah, yeah. oh no, does it have like uh, The way she delivered that Very sort of dark and haunting undertones here, like the melodies. It's very haunting. The, cho the choreo doesn't match the this vibe of the song either. Yo, the vocals though. I don't hate it, but I am confused. It's giving folk of different areas of the world. I'll go more into it in a minute. Such a nice melody. If you get this close, don't lose this part's country. This part is very Middle Eastern, Greek, like, do you know what I mean? Daddy, 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 
was such an odd fusion of sounds, very experimental. I don't know if it's a song that I'm gonna actively seek out and put on and listen to, but I liked it. I liked it because it was different. I loved the fusion of sounds. It was so odd. It wasn't just one or two different sounds. There were multiple. Um, I feel at first I kind of got that that Western, when I say Western, I, I don't mean like Western as in Western pop sounds. I mean Western as, as in like Wild Wild West vibes. Uh, some people would describe it as country, but for me, sometimes it's two different sounds. There's like Western themed, like with saloons type sounds, right? And then there's like country music. Um, like country roads, take me home. Anyway, um, and it was given the old like Wild Wild West vibe that that sort of, yeah, tumbleweed, you know? Anyway, and then I was getting like folk music, like Irish folk music with the with the violin. I think it's a violin, that sound, where it's like Dee -dee 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 -dee. And you know what I mean. It was giving me like old Irish tavern vibes back in the day. It's giving me Lord of the Rings, like, the, like in the Shire, Hobbits, Hobbits music. And then for the chorus part, it was giving me folk music, but like maybe Greek, Turkish, Middle Eastern. I'm Greek, if you didn't know, I'm half Greek. Um, and it was giving me that vibe, especially within the melodies. And you probably know, if you don't know, I feel like Greek, Turkish, Middle Eastern, we all have these very similar sort of melodies. It, all, it sounds quite haunting sometimes, quite mysterious. Um, and some of the instrumentation in that part as well. So it was... And then you obviously had the more modern pop type sounds as well within that. It was a very, very odd fusion and combination. And I can understand if people can't vibe with that or don't understand it or their brain just can't enjoy all those different sounds together. I'm half and half because I'm not too fond of the, the, the Western sound, like the, the country sound. I've said this before, we had... Um, I think it was Les Serafim dropped a song like that, Kiss of Life, someone else did as well. I'm just not too, too fond of that sound. Um, and I feel like there was a lot going on for me to be able just to listen to this a lot casually. But as a piece of music, as a work of art, as a project, I loved it. It was daring, it was out there, it was different. Um, and when something is different and when something confuses me and it hurts my brain, I'm like, what's going on? I have to praise it because it's good, it's different, it's unique and lots of creativity and work has been put into it. Um, the choreo was really good, I feel like it didn't match parts of the track but again, if my brain is confused, for me, that's always a good thing, it's never a bad thing. I never see it as a negative thing, um, in my opinion. It was good, we was getting vocals, some really nice, strong, solid vocal moments, I love how in the intro um, I, don't know who, I don't know who was singing then, um, but their lower register and how it was so stripped back, there was no instrumental or anything, it just sounded really, really good. And I felt like it set that weird tone for the song very, very early on. Um, but I enjoyed that. I'm curious to know how you guys feel about the track um, and the performance video in the comments. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you have subscribed, I love you. Love you, gonna find me on Instagram guys, gonna find me on Twitter, and yeah, goodbye.